we've reached the anticlimactic ending to Hightown Season 1. I really enjoyed the season. I wasn't too thrilled about the finale, so we're just going to go ahead and discuss it and break it all down right now and give you guys what I hope is going to happen next season. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. I will be putting up some Baby L videos. This little girl has come into my world and has turned it upside down. Love her with all my heart. And let's go ahead and break this final episode down. So ladies and gentlemen, this is probably going to be one of my quickest finale reviews I've ever done because this didn't really do it for me. I still enjoyed the season, but the finale was somewhat lackluster to me. The big reveal in the beginning, Junior, his ass is dead. I predicted that through all my videos that he was going to die and he was dead. He was dead due to a mixture of fentanyl, coke, um, heroin, all of that. And we know Aceto is the reason for that. Aceto knew Junior wasn't just going to take that money and bounce. And Junior, I mean Aceto, excuse me, went to his cousins who are the ones or his uncle, excuse me, that have all this high-powered drugs. So we knew that this was going to happen to Junior. Another big reveal in this episode was they did bust up into Junior's uncle or cousin or whoever they are's house, arrest them, but they didn't arrest the daughter that we have said over and over again because they showed too many camera angles of her, that she was going to do something big, and that happened at the end of this particular show. But they arrest everybody except for those two girls. And then Jackie's outside with Officer Savaho when Aceto pulls up around the corner. They have a shootout. Jackie's clipped in the arm. Aceto is clipped while he's driving the getaway car. And they take his butt to the hospital. And next thing you know, he's hemmed up and he's in the hospital. And we can only wonder how they're going to try to use him against Frank. We see Frank talking to... Renee in jail, just basically letting her know that he's proposing to her. He's going to beat these charges. And what we reveal with Renee is that she really is caking up for Frank. He's the mother. I mean, he's the father of her kids. I said that she was really falling for Frank anyway, even though Officer Savaho did his best job to try to pull her away. It's hard to overcome the mother or father of somebody's kid. And Officer Sabaho wasn't able to overcome it. And it even later got revealed that that time when he came to her house and was getting head from her, she was recording that. After Frank put a ring on it, she just basically said, you know what, this Ray thing got to go. And she recorded, she recorded Ray, sent the tape to the police, and now Ray is out of a job. And that's what Officer Sabaho's ass get. He should have never been filled with dallying with these CIs in the first place. But what made this one even worse was they've been trying to put Frankie away for a very, very long time. Ray even went to the prison to talk cash money junk to Frank. And little do we know, he is about to be the reason Frank is going to get out because they put his ass on leave, Officer Savaho, and they're going to release Frank all in one clean swoop because his woman did the job. And did you guys hear that exchange he had with Ray when he came to see Frank in prison when he said she tastes like spring dew, don't she? Something he said to her talking about Renee's you know what. So damn officer save a hoe. If man has not learned what their greatest weakness is, it's that vagina, them panty draws. Be careful, fellas, because they can cause you to lose it all. And then we later see that Alan, who is Officer Ray's partner, Sends a letter of recommendation to get all these charges dropped against Jackie. She doesn't have to worry about the DUI issues anymore. She's got her Marine jobs back. But then when she finds that out, she goes looking for Ray at the, at the, at the police precinct. He's not there, but she sees Alan. Alan says, you know, we're trying to find minorities because she wants to work to keep Frank in jail. He lets her know Frank is getting out of jail. And I know she's shaking in her boots because you guys remember an episode ago, she went to jail to meet Frank, get in his face, and talk cash junk to him too. And Frank looked at her like, your ass is going to die. Well, it's about to be a showdown, ladies and gentlemen, because now at the very end, what I've been telling y'all from the first episode of this show, Frank is going to get out of jail. And guess what? 
Frankie is out of jail. He comes out of there dabbing near with that hot suit, those nice glasses, looking like he's straight from Miami. Had his super whore on his arm, mother, his kids, little Frankie running up to give him a hug as he gets out of jail. And so it just leaves you wondering, ladies and gentlemen, what's going to happen next season. And the very last clip that we got a chance to see was Aceto's cousins, those two girls, entering Cape Cod with all those drugs. And it sounds like they're trying to be the new kingpins of Cape Cod. They're very, very young, so I don't know how that's going to work. But like I told y'all, they wasn't doing a close-up on that little girl for nothing. And now we know what her intents are. She's going to Cape Cod. She's going to try to establish this business. But the issue here is going to be, how is it going to mix with Frank? Frank finds out somebody's putting out product. He's going to want to know who the hell it is. He might come after these girls. He might partner with them. Jackie going to be partnering up with the police precinct. Now Alan has Ray's job, it looks like. How is that going to work? What trials and tribulation is she going to go through next year? Because she's still attending Alcoholics Anonymous to get over her issues. She's still a little beaten down by her friend Junior being dead. But now they've got Aceto. And Aceto sounded as though he's interested in talking at the end of this episode. So in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, of this episode, I was really not feeling it. But it did pick up closer to the end. It took it a while, but it did pick up. So overall, I would say this was a hit show for the season. Finale wasn't that good, and I think it's just because the finale was more just a setup for more things to come. So leave me all your comments. What do you want to see happen in Season 2 of Hightown? I pretty much have an idea where they're going to go, but I want to see it play out on TV. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life game. Follow me. Turn on those notifications. I will be going live with my man Larry tomorrow so we can talk about these shows. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the P Valley that's coming on stars as well. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.